You are now tuned in to a black feather frequency. Stay balanced or fall off. Hey y'all, so the message of the day is get in uniform and stay in uniform. For an example, if you work for Apple, they have a certain uniform that they want you to wear. Um, like you, and you have to be in their uniform. And they don't play that. Like They want you to be clean. They want you to show up with your hair neat, um, with, um, with your teeth brushed. They want you to be very polished um, because you are the face of the company. So when people come in to Apple, you're the first thing they see. And if you look raggedy, they're going to think poorly of the company. So they are really strict about appearances. Um, I've never worked for Apple, but I worked for a company that's strict like that. And if you come to work with like a wrinkle in your shirt, they're going to send you home and you can't get paid. Um, you can't get paid for that day. I say that to say the same thing applies if you are um, working for God. And working for God, I mean like if you are in the service of helping humanity, helping um, raise the vibration of um, of the planet, then you are doing God's work. So you are working. The company would be the kingdom of God, of course. So if you want God to get behind what you're doing, if you want God to bless you, it's a certain appearance that you need to have. And I, I get why, because when people see you, they're going to see God. And if you look a hot mess, that's not going to look, that's not a good reflection of um, God's kingdom. So I say that to say you really need to pay attention to how you look. And this is not to judge anybody to say, oh, you can't, you know, look how you want to look. But when you are the face, yeah, there is a certain way um, you do have to look. Like the example I said about Apple, like if the people in the front of the store, they have to look a certain way. Maybe if you work in the back or whatever, they may not be as strict. But if you work in the front of the store, yeah, you need to be looking, you need to be looking clean and you need to be looking neat. So I see a lot of people when they are um, online, you know, they're doing God's work. They're helping to, you know, raise the vibration of the planet. They're helping um, to serve humanity, but they look crazy on camera they have a bonnet on their face is not clean the lighting is bad and it just looks crazy and god does not want you to come on camera looking like that because you're supposed to be representing him not saying that you can still do it but you won't get his blessing if you want him to get behind you if you want to work for um the kingdom of god then you have to present yourself a certain way. And it's no shade, but you have to, you kind of have to understand, like, why would God put his name on the line? You know what I mean? He's putting his face on the line. So when people see you, they're going to see God. And if you look crazy, that's going to be a, like, a, that's going to look bad on God. So God is just not going to have that. So you need to really pay attention to how you look when you are um, doing your, uh, doing God's work. Also, it's not just when you're working, like, you need to um, conduct yourself uh, accordingly at all times. Like, not just your appearance, but um, how you interact with people needs to be a reflection of God. The word you speak needs to be um, a reflection of God. Um, yeah, all of that is very important. God will not bless a hot mess. And one more thing before I go, that's how you can tell the difference between the false prophet, the fake spiritualist, between um, the real ones. If you ever notice, if you look on YouTube or whatever on social media, the, uh, the people that are normally like a false prophet, they're never in the light. I don't know why. Like it's always it always seems like the recording like from an Android. The light is just always bad. That's I don't know. God is I don't think God is behind that. You know somebody work for God because they are and they step into the light. You can see them. The lighting is good. Their face looks clear. They're not hiding. They're not. You know what I mean? Just pay attention to that. Like when you see a video of somebody um, claiming to be of God, but the lighting is bad. You can't really see them. The quality is bad. That's not God. Anything with God in it, the quality is going to be the quality is going to be good. So that's how you would know. So I hoped that helped 
And that's really it. I just had to come on here and say that because I feel like it's still somebody out there that's um, doing God's work, but they may have a bonnet on and they probably are confused as to why they're not really um, getting blessed. It's because your appearance, I feel like God is waiting for you to, you know, look uh, dressed accordingly. But all right, that's all I have. Hope you guys have a great Sunday. Don't forget to do your shadow work. Um, stay out the way. Drink your water. Mind your business. All right, peace. Stay balanced or fall off.